सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल गुड टू ग्रेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल क्लिक हियर एंड आल्सो क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन Hi guys welcome to our channel good to great in this video i will show you some applications i mean some practices on table tag okay in this video i will show you how to design a table in html using table commands table tags okay at first go at first go to sublime text editor okay save the file with a name in a folder then i have already done it then come to the file and write html okay these are the predefined tags i mean sublime text editor is advanced then notepad that's why these are automatically created so the work to be done here is less than notepad it is much more flexible okay now write table table tag okay guys now here use border command border attribute for i'm using it for cell padding 6 and cell spacing 6 okay now let me design a table for you then i will discuss you how it works okay so at first give a table heading okay uh, it is need not necessary to have some table heading okay you can i will use uh, all as a table data okay There is a in this table. I am not going to use table heading. So, sorry, uh, I am using table heading here. Yeah, due to much better understanding for you, table data. I am not using any table data. Okay, I mean uh, it depends on you. You can use only one for as of your choice. You want to use only table data. you can do it or you can do with table table headings you can do it i am using table heading here okay table heading i am using call span 2 okay this is our first row okay here two columns are combined i am giving it a name a and i am coming to next row and i am using th command and giving it a name b and i am coming to next row and i am using go span here as 2 and i am giving it a name c and i am coming to next column next row sorry and i am using here as c sorry t okay now i am saving the file and let's see how the output is look guys this is the output okay due to this call span 
this line the call span for this call span these two columns has been merged together and became a single column okay and guys i forget it to tell you in the previous video what is cell padding and cell spacing okay cell padding is that the text here should be at a same distance from this border okay this border and cell spacing means this cell and this cell and this cell okay this cell and this cell every cell have bit same difference between them okay this is called cell spacing cell spacing this part is called cell spacing okay guys this part so let's come to the code and in the next column next row sorry in the next row i have used a table heading with b due to this a b this is our first first column of first row but in the second column what i have done is i have combined two rows okay that's why i have used the command row span look here two here two rows are combined okay remember guys this command row span and call span these are used very much while doing projects okay and in the next row i am using only a single column and because the my another next column here has been occupied by this row span okay look here i am using a single column this column has been occupied by the previous column this has been combined by using row span okay guys i think you have got it let me show you another example another application i am doing a another structure for you let create a first row here i am creating four rows and four column four cross four okay again th Here is P. Here is C and D. Okay, four columns have been created. For the next row, I am doing TH. and i am using here e but here i will use both call span and row span i am using call span as 3 and row span as 3 three columns and three rows will be combined together will be merged and will be displayed as a single okay Okay, you will see this in the output and you will create it better. You will have a good understanding on the output. Okay, now this is the last column. I am giving you with DFF. Okay. Now I am going to another another row here also it is a 4 cross 4 ok remember it guys 3 rows 3 columns 4 rows and 4 columns but out of which out of which this is our first row this is our second row but in the second row I have, I have already consumed 3 rows and 3 columns ok so here I have only 1 column left the last column okay so let's give it some heading 
data again dia with dh okay one two three four okay okay guys four rows and four columns have been completed now let's see the output look guys this is how it looks like here one two three four one row first row has four columns but from the second row three columns and three rows have been marked and last column has been even separated values okay guys i think you have got it if you have any doubt just mail me at learn dot good to great at the gmail.com i have provided the mail address in the description box if you have any query please comment here or you can also ask me in mail it will be better if you guys mail me if you have any doubts because i maximum time i use mail to reply any doubts okay thank you guys